Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to set up the Nextcloud desktop and mobile apps. This is a more of a follow-up video to my older video uh, where I show you how to set up a Nextcloud server. So this is one of my most popular videos on my channel, so please do watch that if you haven't already, and then you can continue on with the video. First, I'll be setting up the Nextcloud desktop app. So just go to nextcloud.com, click get Nextcloud in the corner. This might sound like you're getting the server packages, but here you can download the desktop client or the Android and iOS client, which will just send a link to your phone. We'll do that in the next step, but right now click get Nextcloud, desktop and mobile apps, and then Windows or whatever OS you are using. Once you've started the installer package after downloading it, go ahead and click next and just install using the default settings. When asked to restart your system, go ahead and click yes after closing all programs. After restarting, Nextcloud should be running in your system tray. Just click the arrow or already might be on your taskbar and click right click and then settings. Here you can configure all the folders. The first folder I want to sync is my pictures folder. Select that and then click select folder in the corner. Then on the next page it will ask which folder you want to sync to on your Nextcloud server. There select the corresponding folder you want to use. You will then see the sync progress on the next page. I'm going to do the same process for my videos folder now. If you open File Explorer while it's syncing or after it has been synced, you will see these little green check marks similar to the OneDrive sync success. So once it has been synced, it will show a green check mark beside the folder you have synced. It will show a blue loading symbol if it is still syncing. That's it for the desktop side of the app, now we'll move on to the mobile app. You can start by installing the Nextcloud app from the Android Play Store or the Apple iOS App Store. Once it is completed installing, go ahead and open the app. The first screen you'll see is a login page. Go ahead and click the login button and then you can log in using your server credentials, the same uh, public IP address you use when setting up your Nextcloud server. You would know what this is if you have set up your own Nextcloud server. You can just use those credentials to log in. Once you have logged in, you should see your server's root directory and all the folders you have underneath. Right now, I only have the pictures and videos folder we just synced for my computer. You can view those and previews should load, but that's based on your server's speed. So that I cannot guarantee working. If you want the previews to load quicker, go ahead and download the files you want to view before viewing them. You can download folders by pressing and holding the folder and then clicking the three dots and then clicking sync. For individual files, do the same process and click download. You can see the same blue spinning wheel and the green check mark to indicate the status of the downloaded file. You can now see that the downloaded files, the files with the green check mark, load quicker than accessing it directly from the server. The next step will be to upload some files. You can upload directly from your phone using the plus sign in the bottom right corner. Click that and you can click upload from your camera or from files. You can also sort by category when you click the root directory of your phone. Once you've selected the item you want to upload, you can also choose to delete the file from the source folder, keep it in the source folder, or move it to the uh, name of your server folder. So this means it'll be a separate folder on your phone where it will not be searched by other photos apps. And finally, the last thing I'll be showing in this demo is auto upload. You can do this by clicking the three lines in the left top corner and then going down to settings and then scroll down until you see auto upload. Click that and here you can select your media folders. Right now I don't have any photos or videos saved directly so they're not showing up. But once you take a photo, you can click one and upload it to the server directory. 
And that's the video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please subscribe or like. And also, make sure you check out my old Nextcloud server setup video so you can figure out how to set up your own and self-host.